All right. Hey guys, this is Akiru or Akiru, however, however you might want to pronounce that. Um, welcome to my first Let's Play video, and we're gonna have a Let's Play World of Goo, and this is a really awesome game. Um, it's a physics engine 2D puzzle game, basically, but I mean, um, it's a really good game. Um, so chose this game for my first. Let's play video. So it's kind of hard to explain how this game, like what the premise of the game is. It's better just to show you, but here we are, chapter one. And level one, going up. So let's do it. Going up, easy, easiest goo pie. So this is a tutorial level of shorts. Um, as you can see, we have goo balls right here. Oop, oh, didn't mean to do that. All right, that's... that's we try it, alright. Um, that went well for a first video. Alright. As I was saying, <laughs> so there are goo balls, um, and you can also see these. This is kind of like a box that's been, you know, pre constructed for us. And it's, you know, take a look at the sign. It says drag and drop to build to the pipe. It's pretty self explanatory, and that's basically the premise of the game. So this is. The pipe. This is the destination where we want to go to for each level, and basically we want to use these goo balls to um, build some kind of structure, a tower, or you know any kind of structures to eventually lead the other goo balls to the uh, pipe, to the mouth of the pipe. So um, that's basically it. It's a really simple premise, but as you can see, it's pretty awesome physics engine. You can throw stuff and it'll bounce and stuff like that. Um, there's additional um, goals that you can try to achieve. The OCD um, obsessive completion distinction criteria. It's really basically a uh, play on the word on the term obsessive compulsive disorder, which is um, which I don't have, at least I don't think I have, but um, I do have a tendency when I'm playing like RPG games or whatnot that I want to do 100% completion, collect everything. But um, basically, if you come, you know, this is kind of like a challenge mode, if you know, kind of like achievements that you would try to complete. Um, but they're pretty hard, so I don't think I'll be deliberately trying to achieve all of the OCDs, but. Um, if I got one, awesome. So, here we go. Enough talking, let's play World of Goo. 1.9 meter to go. So, as you can see, I just drag and drop, and here you go. Second goo ball, and there you go. Made it. All right, yay. So, I'm actually using Camp Studio to record this right now, so it's not really exactly compatible with Windows Vista. So, the sound is a little bit kind of, you know, quiet the, from the game, but my voice is pretty loud because that has nothing to do with you know, compatibility. So here we go, here's our score. Goal. Our goal was to um, have um, four, 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 I uh, can't talk today, must be Friday. Um, four, four goo balls um, delivered to the pipe and we collected 11 so we went way overboard and we actually did a chief OCD and um, we have plus seven extra goo balls and this is actually somewhat significant and we'll get, we'll get to that later uh, in three moves we completed a level and because I keep yabbing on <laughs> um, we actually spent like two minutes completing level but you know it's really easy tutorial level so here we go second level and we flush the goo balls. Um, so there's actually kind of a story. Um, in, I don't know if we're going to get to the first cutscene. Because I talk a lot. But, um, you know, events do have unfold after a while. Okay, second level. Small divide. Easier than it looks. So, let's see. We got some sleeping goo balls. And we also get... Okay, I see what we have to do now. See here? So this is a chasm. So... If you drop a goo ball, which I'm not going to demonstrate, you lose a goo ball, and that's bad because you have less to build with. Um, this becomes crucial later on in later levels. So let's see. There's a sign here. 
and it says from across <coughs> excuse me from across a small divide another mysterious pipe appeared up in the sky i don't think they're supposed to rhyme but whatever its opening looked warm and inviting the gooball seemed to wonder where it might lead it's the sign painter hmm I wonder who the sign painter is, but I guess this is a clue of some sort. Well, we're you know we know we want to get to the the pipe, so I guess we might as well start building a bridge. So let's do it. There we go. For like five meters ago, and so here you can actually start seeing the really nice physics engine that they um, employed here, and um, you can. Kind of see without the support here, it's kind of you know dangling out the bridge. It's not going to be really <laughs> structurally stable. And ah, oh, almost dropped that. Um, I was just laughing because one of my friend was a civil engineering major, and she always used words like structurally unstable to describe stuff. Um, so I think she actually built highway. So this we're building bridges here. So it'll be kind of irrelevant to what she did she does um so we keep going so as you can see i built this extra triangle here to be like a support so if i don't do that the whole thing pretty much just falls over um pretty easily and we don't want that to happen so keep going to the right and as you can see those sleeping goo balls and once your structure touches them they wake up and they join the rest of your swam or your school or whatever your quantitative pronoun is um, <laughs> of uh, goo balls. So here we go. Made it! Level complete. So let's see. 11, 12, so 14. And I think we need 22 goo balls to make OCD um, in this level. And we obviously, obviously didn't do that. Um, I mean, I'm not going to try to do that. I'm like, not skillful enough to do that, but here we go. Goal! We made, we got six extra goo balls in ten moves. Two minutes. Awesome. Continue. Flush. Alright. So, level two completed. Let's take a look at level three. Hang low. Alright. Wake up the sleeping goo. Ah, this is kind of nice. And I really love the graphics too um they're kind of whimsical um 2d graphics and i really like it and it shows you know it just shows that games these days doesn't have to be 3d to look nice um okay sign this cave looks like it's been undisturbed for dozens of years until now when the pipe broke through the ceiling above oh uh, well i enunciated stuff weird there the sunlight must have blinded these rare Albino goobals, oh, poor goobals, they're albino and they're blind. Hmm. So they didn't seem to notice when it began to snow. Maybe they should wake up if they had something to jump onto. Interesting. So I guess that's a clue. So I guess they hibernated? So I guess they're co-blooded? Hmm. Do they even have blood? So what we're going to try to do here, these are, by the way, new types of goo balls. Are, these are white um, albino goo balls. And they can actually, as you can see, they can make, um, instead of just two links, they can make three or four links. So they are more powerful. They're better, I guess, than the regular dark tar glue goo balls. So we're just going to build down and wake up. Oh, probably another goo ball. Well, let's see. To wick the other goo balls up, so that's good. Um, come on, I want to waste another one. To all right, come on. Do do do. All right, come on, wake up. Wake up, man. All right, here we go. There you go. Ah, crap. Still one more. Well. We'll just leave that one. I mean, I would be ending. I'll end up just using one to trade for another one, so that would be kind of pointless. So, keep building up. And up. And keep going. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, hello. There we go. So, because they made three links. 
Um, I can actually build like octagons here. So here we go. Here's the here's the pipe. Come on. There you go. Made it. All right. That's called it a video. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play World of Goo. See you guys later.